back to my channel it's your good Jessie here so let's get started first you're going to need a plastic cup or a glass cup whatever you choose uh, as long as not a styrofoam cup um, you're gonna need some gloves um, your sugar you could either use cane sugar or granulated sugar as you can tell I'm using granulated sugar um, the oils are your choice so I'm using my Jason vitamin E oil like I mentioned this oil contains five other types of oil in there uh, you're also going to need some rose hip oil. This oil is, is essential because we are making a rose hip facial scrub. You're going to need something to mix with and I'm using a spatula. You're also going to need a pigment if you choose to use pigment in your thing. Just a little bit to give it some cute color. You're going to need some uh, rose petals. These are rose buds and later on I separate them so they could look good in there you're going to need some castor oil like i mentioned before you could use any oil of your choice and this one i am using castor oil now you're going to need your packaging whatever you're putting it in i'm putting in these holographic bags you could use uh jars um whatever it is that you're using but i'm specific specifically specifically using those holographic bags so for our first step we're going to pour in our sugar and if you see like big chunks of sugar in there just take your spatula and like crush them and stuff and yeah oh so now it's time to add in our rose petals since i in mine are rose buds i'm like pulling them apart so we could turn them into petals basically um by the way i got these at on i got these um on amazon it is now the time to add our oils um for, firstly i'm gonna start with my castor oil and i'm just gonna pour it in there some people like their scrubs to be more oily oily some people like it to be more sugary it's all up to you so just add as much as as much oil as you want and then i'm going in with going in with my vitamin e oil this vitamin e oil does contain almond oil apricot oil and etc and then by the way i also added a little bit of jojoba oil because jojoba oil is amazing for the skin i am now adding a couple drops of the rose hip oil um so that's what you guys can tell i'm doing and next what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix everything together make sure that um everything is well mixed because we don't because we don't want any dry sugar and stuff like that so make sure everything is well mixed After mixing, mixing everything together, it is now time to add uh, some of my pigment. By the way, this is pretty. In, uh, wait a minute. No, it's like it's pearl pink from CKB Trading. I was about to say pretty in pink because that's one of my lip gloss names, but no. So we're just going to add a little bit just to give it a little bit of color because we don't want a lot of pigment in this. I just thought the white sugar was kind of like dry and stuff. So I just had to add a little bit of me in there. So this is how it looks like after we added the pigments and everything is all mixed up together like i said before i did not need the color to be opaque i just needed to look cute just a little bit okay now it's gonna be time to add it into our uh, holographic baggies so because of the gloves that i was wearing it was a little bit hard to open these but once i finally did open it i added a generous amount in there i added it i uh, filled it up all the way to the top Okay guys, so overall, this is how they look in their cute little baggies. You get a generous amount and this scrub is great for the skin. It's very moisturizing and everything and it also helps regenerate your skin. So, wait until this restock guys, you guys will be able to purchase this facial scrub. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in our next video. Bye!